Hey, I'm Josh from the PI Workshop, and today we're going to be fixing a poop tank. Poop water. So after living in the RV for a month, we've run into our first problem. The sensors on the black tank are always reading two-thirds full, whether I've just emptied them or it's been used for a week. Now from what I've researched, the sensors on these tanks are not very high quality, and talking to people here at the RV park, they agree with me. So there are some aftermarket sensors that I just purchased that have a little shield over the top to protect them from waste and other things that give erroneous readings. So I bought some, and now we're going to swap them out. But I'm here under the RV and we have to drop down this protective coating, uh, which is a problem because they're put in with these compression nails, so we have to pry those out, which is a pain. Uh, and once I do that, I'm not exactly sure where the tank is. I know it's in this general area, but once we find the tank, I don't know where the sensors are. And when I do find those, I'm not exactly sure how they're wired. So we have to take all those things into consideration, go step by step problem solve and put these new sensors in and hopefully it will solve our problem so come on let's go get our hands dirty i really don't want to get my hands dirty in thinking about that now that's a poor choice of words let's uh let's get to work so these are held together with these nails all along the bottom and up in the front of the rv so i just gotta gently kind of pry these off which will lower this down and we'll see what we're working with so those are the sensors that one with that red right there this one that one and another one up there so that one is full two-thirds one-third and that go over there is empty the two-third sensor it seems to get stuck on but now i'm looking the one-third sensor right there does not have a capture nut on the back so i don't know so right now i am filling up the tank to flush the whole thing and then i want to pull those out and replace them so we'll see how well this is going to the work because on the other side of this I just emptied it but this is a waste tank so I don't want to mess this up that could be pretty disgusting those little electrodes inside there are not shielded by anything so it's common to get toilet paper or whatever kind of stuck on the top sometimes and it gets stuck right on that probe and it's always going to register that it's full so you're going to have an inaccurate reading and apparently solution are these guys so rather than the flat like regular M&M shaped sensors. These are these, these copper uh, probes. On top of these probes, there are like TP shields. So you put these in and they have those compression nuts. And as you tighten those compression nuts, this black rubber sleeve expands and wedges into the tank and creates a gasket. So these are the Horst Miracle probes. They keep working. So we'll see if that claim holds up. All right, so I pulled out my two-third sensor, which was a problem one. Um, shield your eyes, but I had a little bit, of, a little bit of dude on there. With whatever that, I don't say black crap, but it's, I mean, there's obviously crap, but there's some black stuff on there. I don't know what that is. That might have been tripping the sensor, but it's gone. Um, much better sensors are installed in there. So far, it's passing the leak test. And we should go see. Just give me an accurate reading. Does it work? Does it work? Hey! hey Empty. Oh, whoop whoop! Whoop whoop, Indy. Good job, baby. <laughs> I fixed the poop tank sensors. It's the little things in life. There we go. So it worked. This was a really great project to get back in the swing of doing things again. After making the transition from the house to the RV and with the workshop still in transition, it was really good to rip something apart and figure it out, put it back together again. So if you have the problem that we had, don't sit there and ignore it. Let your poop tanks overflow into this disgusting flood of filth. Go out and get you some Horst Miracle probes, get some tools, and fix it yourself. Save yourself some money. Thanks for stopping by the PI Workshop.